such a wonderful, wonderful day in such a magical, marvelous way. Is it possible all this can be happening to me? The world is all topsy-turvy, and yet this is a day I shall never forget. Is the world dressed in wonderful dreams just for me? If you should tell me the whole world is crazy, then crazy I want it to be. Your dreams are more precious than gold. For you're poor if you don't understand. Wonderland. A large rose tree near the entrance of the garden attracted her attention. The roses were white, but there were three gardeners round it, busily painting them red. No one will ever believe me when I tell them this, but the gardeners are exactly like my playing cards. There's the two, the five, and the seven of spades. <coughs> Please, would you tell me why you are painting those roses? The fact is, miss, you see, this here ought to have been a red rose tree. And we put a white one in by mistake, you see. And if the Queen finds out, you see, we should all have our heads cut off, you see. So you see, miss, we're doing our best before she comes back. The Queen! The Queen! The Queen! The Queen! They've thrown themselves flat on their faces. I wonder if I ought to. But what's the use of a procession if you can't see it? And this is such a splendid one. Here they come. Everybody is walking two by two. And they are all like my playing cards. The ten soldiers leading are the clubs. Then come ten courtiers. How important they look. They're all diamonds. And oh, how lovely. Here come the royal children, the little dears. They look so merry skipping along hand in hand, all decorated with hearts. Who are these, I wonder? I think they must be the royal guests. Of course, they're all kings and queens. Clubs. Diamonds. Spades. Oh, here's the white rabbit. He still looks a bit nervous. And here comes the knave of hearts carrying the king's crown on a crimson velvet cushion. And yes, here they come, looking very dignified and regal, the king and queen of hearts! Goodness me, the Queen is stopping. I do believe she is going to speak to me. 
And what is your name, child? Alice, so please, Your Majesty. And who are these? Up with their heads! But they're your gardeners, and they're only trying to paint the roses. Up with her head! Oh, consider, my dear. She's only a child. Ah, can you play croquet? Yes. Ah, come along, then. It's a very fine day. Oh, Mr. White Rabbit, how nice to see you. I wonder if you could tell me, where's the Duchess? <gasps> Shh! Hush! She's under sentence of execution. What for? Mm -hmm. She boxed the Queen's ears. <laughs> oh, hush, please. The Queen will hear you. You see, she came rather late, and the Queen said... Do you want to play, or don't you? Mm. Get to your places. Get to your places! But how on earth can we play croquet like this? The ground is all ridges and furrows. The balls are live hedgehogs. And the mallets are live flamingos. No, idiot! Off with his head! Come on! Yes, you! No, no, no! Off the head! She's dreadfully fond of beheading people. It's a wonder there's anyone left alive. I must say, no one here plays at all fairly. They don't seem to have any rules. How do you like the Queen? Not at all. She... Be careful. Here comes the King. Who are you talking to? It's a friend of mine, a Cheshire Cat. Oof, I don't like the look of it at all. However, it may kiss my hand. I'd rather not. Don't be impertinent. And don't look at me like that. A cat may look at a king. I've read that somewhere. It must be removed. Ah, here's the queen. My dear, I wish you'd have this cat removed. Off with its head! But how can you cut off its head when it hasn't got a body to cut it from? Anything with a head can be beheaded. Any idiot knows that. If something isn't done about it in less than no time, I shall have everybody executed all round. It's the Duchess's cat. Perhaps you'd better ask her. She's in prison! Fetch her here! Fetch the Duchess! Fetch the Duchess! Fetch the Duchess! Fetch the Duchess! Yeah! Oh, thank goodness the Cheshire Cat had the sense to disappear while no one was looking. Well, they certainly lost no time in finding the Duchess. Good afternoon, Duchess. You can't think how glad I am to see you again, you dear old thing. Speak roughly to that little boy and beat him when he sneezes. You need does it to... You're thinking of something, my dear, and that makes you forget to talk. I can't tell you just now what the moral of that is, but I shall remember in a bit. Perhaps it hasn't one. Oh, tut, tut, child, everything's got a moral, if only you can find it. I only tells it to an eye because he knows it teases. Speak of that thing. She's quite pleasant, really. Maybe it was all that pepper that made her so hot-tempered. I think the game's going on rather better now. Uh, to Sue, and the moral of that is, ooh, tis love, tis love that makes the world go round. Love makes the world go round, like a roundabout. Love is the only thing we can't live without. Found. Love will come back to you. 
and the sense will take care of itself. And the moral of that is... Uh, it's a very fine day, Your Majesty. Now I give you fair warning. Either you or your head must be off, and that in about half of no time. Take your choice! Goodbye, Duchess. <laughs> 